Privacy Legislation, National and State Laws related to privacy are developed by governments at state and federal levels. Below is an outline of the different laws that specifically apply to the state of New South Wales, which is at state level, as well as privacy laws that apply to Australia as a whole at national level. So firstly, we'll take a look at a national level. And in Australia, that is the Privacy Act 1988. Okay, this law was developed by the government in order to protect information related to individuals. Okay, the law was developed in order to keep people's private data and PII safe. Okay, it outlines to organizations their responsibility in the handling in all their employee and client data in relation to privacy. And the law outlines 13 specific principles related to both the public and private sectors. And in relation to that, in a future video, I'll go over what those principles are. So that law applies to all of Australia. It is at a national level, the Privacy Act 1988. So if I'm a business and I work, whether in New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, okay, that law applies to me, the Privacy Act 1988. We're then going to look at at a state level and at a state level here in New South Wales, we have the Privacy and Personal Information Protect Act 1998. All right. So with this specific law, it obviously applies to individual privacy in New South Wales. A specific of this actual uh, law is that it has the appointment of a privacy commissioner who oversees privacy and this commissioner is appointed a team okay and that is the information and privacy commission that govern this act now they govern this specific act but then they've also got other acts as well that they use together in order to administer this law so these uh, acts include the government information public access act 2009 the Government Information Information Commission Act 2009 and the Health Records and Information Privacy Act 2002. The Information Privacy Commission uses this act as the basis of their enforcement of privacy for businesses who store data about people. So if you're unsure about a privacy breach or if a privacy breach does take place and it's known publicly, okay, it'll be this commission that acts on it. And they're also the, the commission you should contact for support in this case. In many cases, if there has been a privacy breach from cybercrime, a business would want to contact the actual information and privacy commission firsthand in order to find support. Okay, and obviously um, start the process of trying to get a uh, the data, they won't be able to get it back, but try to assist with managing the incident. Okay. The commission promotes, protects, and supports individual and organizations in relation to privacy and the relevant legislation, which is what we've gone on here on screen. And they would also refer to the legislation at a national level as well. So that is the national and state uh, legislation used for governing privacy. One other thing it's important to note is due to the nature of markets right now and how social media and online platforms we're working at a global level so there is also legislation uh, that exists at an international level though it's a lot harder to work with countries have to work with each other but uh, that has been developed as well due to the global nature of how businesses operate now okay and so uh, people are accountable to that when cybercrime occurs across countries but it is a very gray area and in, in many cases cybercrime is occurring between countries too but uh, there is legislation being brought in place at that level for that very reason so i hope this video has given you a good introduction to privacy legislation specifically at the national and state levels the main national uh, legislation being the privacy act 1998 that applies to all of australia and the main state legislation applying to new south wales being the privacy and personal information protect act 1998 so i hope it helps you understand how they establish rules about the privacy of data that organizations need to follow in order to protect the data of individuals they have stored about okay and having security in place to keep it safe and private within their platforms